Let's consider a projectile projected from the surface of the earth. Let u be its initial velocity u and theta be the angle of projection theta or theta be the angle the initial velocity made with the x-axis and using this green color I am just representing the path covered by the projectile or, or the trajectory of the projectile okay now let's take any point P on the path of the projectile if you draw two perpendiculars from the point P to the X and the Y axis this is the horizontal distance covered by the projectile X and this is the vertical distance covered by the projectile this is the vertical distance and this one is the horizontal distance also you can resolve this U one along the X axis a component along the X axis and another component along the Y axis so this will be the component along the x axis will be u cos theta and the component along the y axis or in the vertical direction will be u sin theta u sin theta see this is u sin theta and this one is u cos theta and you, you have to use the kinematic equation you are, you are just going to use the second kinematic equation that is sc is equal to ut plus half a p square for the for the horizontal motion horizontal motion of the projectile projectile you should take the horizontal and vertical components separately and you have to apply this second kinematic equation for both the directions separately so for the horizontal motion s will be sx that is displacement along the x direction u will be ux that is the initial velocity along the x direction time there is time is independent of axis so which means time runs same for both the axes ux t plus half a x t square a x means acceleration along the x direction clear here sx is our x simply just write x and ux is horizontal this this one is the ux u cos theta and this is the vertical component ui so you have to write u cos theta t plus half there is no component of acceleration along the x direction so this will be 0 0 into t square therefore x is equal to u cos theta into t or t is equal to taking this u cos theta to the left you get x by u cos theta call that as equation number one Similarly, if you can consider the motion of the projectile or the motion along the y direction that is on along the vertical axis, this will be that is for the vertical motion of the projectile for the vertical motion vertical motion of the projectile, this S will be SY that is displacement along y direction u will be uy then t t is independent of the axis plus half a y t square a y means the acceleration along the y direction remember acceleration a y will be g and since it is in the downward direction you have to assign minus g so this will be s y equal to you have to only write y we, since we consider the displacement along y direction as y well. instead of u y you have to write u sin theta u sin theta t plus half you, you should replace a y with minus g minus g t square so this will be 
y is equal to y is equal to u sin theta here you can substitute equation 1 here instead of t you you, you can write x by x by u cos theta minus you can take this minus minus to the left minus one half g instead of t write x by u cos theta whole square clear so the equation will be cancel this u and u this u and u will get cancelled sin theta by cos theta will be tan theta so y is equal to write x before tan theta x tan theta minus g x square divided by 2 you can you should square you you should apply this square to both the numerator and denominator that is u square cos square theta so this is the equation of the parabola sorry this is the equation of the projectile or equation of the trajectory of the projectile clearly this can be written as px plus qx square px plus qx square where on comparing these two equations these two equations i i call this one as one equation number one and call this as equation number two comparing these two you will get p is equal to tan theta and q will be all the terms except this x square that is minus g divided by 2 u square cos square theta so this can be this y the equation number one can be written of the form y equal to px plus qx square where p and q are constants and and their values are here these are their values and this equation i mean the equation number two equation number two represents represent a parabola every equation of the form y is equal to ax plus bx square represents a parabola so the path covered or the path path traveled by the projectile is a parabola 